You know, we automotive journalists like to joke that a Mazda Miata is the answer to any vehicular need. Of course, it's a joke, but these days an SUV is actually the answer to any vehicular need, at least for any automaker planning a new model. Volkswagen at least thinks so, and that's why they brought this, the full-size Atlas SUV. When it goes on sale next year, the Atlas will be the largest VW model sold in the U.S., yet it uses the same MQB platform as the Golf and Audi A3. Volkswagen promises plenty of room for seven passengers and their luggage, meaning the Atlas will compete against family haulers like the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander, not to mention minivans. Its boxy shape definitely communicates that this is an SUV and ties the Atlas to other Volkswagen models, but it doesn't offer much pizzazz. At least it will look distinctive at night thanks to standard LED headlights. LED daytime running lights are standard as well, with LED taillights optional. While the styling is restrained, the amount of technology isn't. The Atlas will be available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a 12-speaker Fender audio system, and a Volkswagen digital cockpit reconfigurable dashboard display. It will also get a full suite of safety features, including adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, park assist, autonomous emergency braking, and a post-collision braking system meant to keep the car from moving after an initial collision. Volkswagen offer two engine options at launch, a 238 horsepower, 2.0 liter turbocharged four-cylinder and a 280 horsepower VR6, basically a V6 but more compact. Both engines will be paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission, front-wheel drive, and all-wheel drive will also be available on VR6 models. In addition to being designed for the U.S. market, the Atlas will also be built here. It will be assembled at the same Chattanooga, Tennessee plant that builds the Passat midsize sedan. Volkswagen just spent $900 million upgrading the facility to handle this SUV. The Atlas launches this coming spring.